Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Millie on Portainer. So I'm going to walk you through step by step, and at the end of the tutorial, you should have it up and running. So uh, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home lab, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today, Millie, a self-hosted recipe manager and meal planner with a, Re a REST API back in and a reactive fr a front end application built in view for pleasant user experience for the whole family. This is what it looks like. Some screenshots, uh, import your recipes, automatic backups, rich user interface, meal planner, users, groups, webhooks, and open API. So this is what will be installed today. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go to the search over here. I'm going to type meal. And then I'm going to go to the Millie on Portana right here. And then I'm going to go to Docker and Post. So version 3 of Docker and Post file format is being used. I'm going to set the services. And then the service underneath the services is called app. The cont container name is going to be called Big Bear Millie. And then the image is coming off Docker by default. This is the Docker image, and then this is the Docker image tag. Restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for a reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to set volumes down here. So a milli data is a local volume that's defined right here. And then um, app data is on the container side. Do not change the, uh, the container side at all. And then I'm going to set ports. So 9925 is on the host side and then 9000 is on the container. If this does clog with another port on your host, you can change it. Do not change the container port though. Same with the volumes and the ports. On the right side, do not change the, uh, the container side. Um, so I'm gonna go over here to copy raw file, and then I'm gonna go over to my portainer and get this setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, I'm going to start on my portainer. I'm going to go to local, and then stacks, and then I'm going to go up here to add stack. I'm going to give uh, it a name of Millie Stack. And then uh, portainer stacks uh, are deployed with Docker Compose underneath. So it's using the Docker engine. So I'm gonna go, I come down to the web, web editor right here. I'm gonna paste in the Docker Compose that I explained over in Big Bird Video Assets. Then I'm gonna come down here to deploy the stack. What that done is it downloaded Docker image off the registry, got it extracted and got it up with Docker Compose underneath. So we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the stack options. So if you go in your stack right here, uh, you can see actions up here. So stop the stack, delete the stack, create tempo from the stack, and stack duplication slash migration. You can also see the containers that are running in the stack. So um, you can see the access controls. You can go into the editor right here, and you can see your Docker Compose. You can edit it, and you can come down here to update the stack. Now, uh, if the uh, developer updated the current image that's on uh, this uh, Docker, uh, the Docker image right here, then you can re-pull the image off the registry and get it redeployed with check mark in this and then press update. Um, so that's a little bit about the stack options in Portainer. So now I'm gonna go over the container options. So if you go down here to cont containers, you click the container, you can see actions up here, start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, just edit. You can see the container status down here and you can see logs, inspect, stats, console, attach. Logs are, are great for debugging. And then access controls, the container health, create image, and then the container details, the port configuration. So 9925 is on the host and 9000 is on the container. 
This is the Docker image. So the environment variables, then labels, and then you can change the restart policy and then press the update button. You can come down here and see the volumes. So uh, the milli data is a, a, a local volume. And then on the container, you can see it created a, uh, a bridge network down here. So that's a little bit about the container options in Portainer. So now we're going to go to the UI. So if you go to your port configuration 9925, and then you're going to put your Portainer's IP address in, and then 9925, and then I'm going to go to it. So now you can put the default username and password in. So that would be change me at example.com and then my password and then, uh, okay, now um, you can log in. Now we're logged in. So you can come up here to create, import, create a recipe and cookbook. You can also go up here to cha change me and then go to your account uh, summary, per personal, group. Uh, and then um, you can go over here to user settings and you can change your password and your email. And I would recommend doing that. Um, you can see re recipes, users, categories, tags, tools. You can log out here. You can search. You can go to search through here too. A meal planner, shopping list, a timeline, uh, categories, tags, tools, and set, uh, settings. So application version, secure site, um, a email configuration status. You can send a test email and then a general about. Um, you can go back over here and you can create one by scraping a recipe off a recipe URL. You can create a recipe, so let's just create one, and then you can star it. You can also say you made this, and then put a comment in. You can delete it. You can see the JSON, uh, close, save, an image, and settings. You can, you can put an image uh, URL or upload. Ingredients, um, all different kinds of things. Um, if you go... Um, over to, if we get out of here, and then um, let's go back to the home page. You can see that the the a recipe is here now, so you can start it, and then you can come over here to favorite recipes, and then you can see all your favorite recipes, and then random, you can see random recipes, and then the toggle view. So that's a little bit about uh, Millie ZUI. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting Melee running on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go out in the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.